so delayed and it was counting 10 minutes up here and it's oh now it's going is it going yes, it's going <laughs> good evening and welcome to girlfriend minute i am char and i'm pascal and we're trying to figure out the technology <laughs> we are yes so always either delayed or something gets trapped I don't in know. there i mean it was counting one thing people. up here and it's counting something different here do you see that up in the corner Oh, I do see that. Yeah. And it says 10:43:44, but yet Well, because we've been middle, on we've been on for 10 minutes. Chatting. We've been chatting for 10 minutes. Yeah. Okay. So now you but push the record it, button. It's only 35 some 37 seconds. seconds in. But it took forever for it to pop up. It did. I was waiting for it and I'm like, "Huh? Where are you?" Yeah, I know. I was looking at you like, "Well, I did push it, right?" <laughs> yes. How are you, you this sure evening? Did. By the way, it is 10.49 p.m. Friday night. We are early. I know. Hey, we are. We're really early. This is like We're a really miracle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. How so was how your you? week? Uh, my week was crazy busy. Yeah. And, you know, we're now on the countdown for how many days are left at work. Yeah. So, you know, it's like 20, down there. 28 days. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy that it's been six weeks, six, seven weeks. I know that fast. My God, it goes by quick. You know, and that uh, life for everyone is going to change. Yes. So, yeah, just kind of puttering through and working on that stuff. And yeah. my one coworker left and she went where my cat scan tech is at Simon med. And my other coworker will be going on vacation in August okay. and for like a week and a half. And I'll be all by myself and imaging oh my. for like a week and a half. And that's just going to be really strange. Oh yes, it is. Everything's going to be so empty. Yeah. I bet there's already desks that are empty for sure. I bet. In my area, there's one. There's only one? Okay. Mm -hmm. She just left this week. Okay. Megan just left this week. So in other areas, I haven't seen a mass exodus of any sort. Um, looks like okay. everyone is still there, and I'm seeing them in parking garage and on the stairs and whatnot. So <clears throat> who knows? Know. Yeah. Who knows? So that's, that's all I got. Okay, well, I think the time will fly by quick. And, um, uh, it well, it's bittersweet. It is, yes. But just keep in contact with those people. Meet them every once in a while, you know, as many as you can. Yeah. Yeah, as best as you can. I know it was hard for me, too. I had, when I was in Medicare and everything, you built up these relationships with, with the cubicles next to you. And then I'm like, oh, I'm going to miss you guys, you know, or whatever. And, but some of them, I actually have them on my Facebook and I keep up with them every now and then. It's yeah. hard for us to meet. They have all different kinds of lives. Well, and everyone stuff, has different so. kinds of lives. That work is what held you together and that was the same for everybody. Yeah. And now Correct. you've had to disperse and go different ways. And then life changes and it just, it, it does change everything. It's so easy to say we'll stay in touch. Yeah. And I hope we I hope we do. I hope some of us really do. I hope so too. Uh, I'm game, ladies. I'm game. There you go. You will. Yeah. Maybe not with everybody, but you will. Yeah, you will. So on to yeah. bigger and better things, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. So anyways, that's kind of where we're at. My uh supervisor does her last day's August twelfth. That's gonna be sad. It is, um, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be sad. That's going to be She got a job yeah. and they, you know, gave her, I think she was, you know, they're like, we really want you sooner than later. So she was, you know, three weeks notice. So, okay. Well, you know, it's just as one by one they go, it just changes the vibe, the feeling, it just all of it. Sure. Of course. Of course. And I'm sure sometimes it makes you not want to get up and even go in there anymore. But. You know, you got to do what you got to do. That's it. Just put your mind to bigger and better things in the future. Yeah. So this too shall pass, right? Definitely. How's your family? My family's doing good. You know, thank God. Um, everybody's doing well. My daughter will have a new life um, in her house uh, next month. So we're kind of doing the countdown for that. Everything is well. Um 
Medical wise, Milo's doing okay. Uh, we're trying to figure out what's going on, why his oxygen keeps dipping, but doctors around here are also not very good listeners, unfortunately. And uh, they think that my daughter is trying to create issues or what have you for them, which is she's not. She's just trying to take care of her baby. You know what I mean? Why would they think she's trying to create issues? Because, because she works really hard at taking care of him. It's she not does an easy work task. Really. No, but they don't they don't see it like that. They think that she's being a hypochondriac. You go figure with that one. I have no idea where they come up with this shit, but go figure. He has a lot of medical issues. He does. And and she understands everything that's happening, you know, with him and around him. But as long as they're able to treat what they can treat, why not do it? You know? They always, you know, he has lysencephaly, and for everybody who doesn't know what that is, that is the smoothening of the brain. And uh, it causes you not to um, uh, obtain knowledge where your knowledge olfactory mm-hmm things or your neurons are supposed to be in the brain so it's very hard for him to to do that Um, and also he has uh, multiple seizures throughout the day so um, we're trying to take care of that one as well but I mean if they can help him you know treat at least whatever symptoms why not I mean she understands the deal my daughter is not a stupid person by no means and well, yeah. she's just trying to take care of her child. That's it. She's just trying to take care of him, keep him comfortable while. Correct. While well, whatever goes through, happens, happens. And correct. That's it. Yeah. Whatever God's plan is and for his life, it is what it is. That's it. We have no control over it, no. but we do have control of trying to keep him, you know, comfortable happy and, yeah. and comfortable. Yeah. As much as, as much as she can. So. It's a hard job for her. Sometimes I go to bed crying because um, I cannot imagine her life. I really no, can't. No, I went on. I can't either. I went on vacation with her, and she literally had to carry. I want to say more than half of Milo's room with us. You know his oxygen and his um, his uh, sensor, the one that goes on your toe. You know to sense how mm-hmm. much oxygen you have with the pulse, then his feeding tube, then um, she had to take uh, also um, backup oxygen tanks, things like that. It's, it's a lot. Oh, it's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot for her. Yeah. You know, So you know, it's a lot for everybody. It is. Yeah. It's emotionally draining. Very, very. Because he's just a little person and he doesn't, you know, it is. He doesn't know. He doesn't understand. No. He's just here. Yeah. So. so, but we love him dearly and uh, we do the best that we can to make sure that he has a fulfillful, a fulfillful. <laughs> am I, <laughs> am I even talking properly? <laughs> I don't even know, but we make sure that he has a. The best a quality great, of life he can. A great life. Yeah. A great life. While he, he is here with you guys. Correct. Yes. Yeah, he's my That's all you can do. That's it. Yeah, that's it. And the other one, you know, runs around like a chicken with his head cut off. So he's terrorizing the world, isn't he? Oh, my God. Isn't that terrible, too? He's around. He's there. (laughs) But he's so darn cute. I can't. I I just can't. I I know. Aziel's so cute. And, you know, when something happens, which is rarely, you know, Mm -hmm. I talk to him about it. You know, it's hard just not to squeeze the tar out of them <laughs> i know like you want to just squeeze and kiss them even when they're doing something bad you're like no come here let me bite your toe and then i'm like no <laughs> let me not do that <laughs> you did bad go sit in time out <laughs> we don't do time out yet i don't think it's time to do time out or maybe my daughter did i don't know i don't know uh Ozzie, I had a little issue the other day where he decided to fl- face plant his sister Oh, he well, he doesn't realize on the repercussions yeah. of, you know, she's sitting up, but you sure. know, she's crawling and stuff. But, you know, you can't shove on her and whatnot or she's going to bobble right on over. And she did. And of course. And uh, well, I guess he he 
actually pushed her. <laughs> yeah. Well, and um, so I took him and, and we had a conversation, but yeah. Um, well, yeah. And that's good that you do that with him rather than immediately scolding him for something. I think when you talk it out, they learn to, um, to understand how to deal with their emotions yeah. rather than you yelling at them or screaming at them for something that they did. Yeah. You know, there's a lot going on in his little world and their big emotions for someone who's so little and he can't, yeah, of course, you know, so of course he's, uh, he's still sweet as pie and typically yeah. loves his sister and They're everyone so has cute. those moments where you just want to push someone over anyway. So <laughs> Hi, right. So why not do it to your own family every once in a while? <laughs> I mean, really. <laughs> yeah, why the hell not, right? <laughs> why the hell not? Yeah. Come here, boom. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, he's, so he's that's it. The most part, a good little egg. So, yeah, yeah. of course. Of course. They're, so. they're our They're gift. two. They're learning. Yeah. They're, they're going to be. Of course. Kids. Of they're going to do things. Yeah. They know. are. Yeah. There are little gifts from God. So, I know. You so, know. Yeah. Yeah. He's a cutie pie. Oh, cute. Yeah. Well, so. that was it. That's my week. Um, it's been I kind of slow at the restaurant, but, you know, it's okay. We're about to go on vacation soon, so I can't wait for that. And, well, school's uh, getting ready to start. Doesn't it typically slow down a not, little bit? Right. No? Not till the end of August, actually. Everybody, believe it or not, everybody's still on vacation. Everybody's oh. out and about. School here starts the week of the 12th. Does it really? Well, it's what I hear. Now I have no one in school, so I'm assuming it's true. But <laughs> yeah, I know that the um, the private schools here start a little bit earlier than the public schools. Yeah. But uh, everybody most mostly is starting towards the end of August. Some are at the beginning of September. So I yeah. don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you have to understand we have a lot of winter days here, and we have a lot of schools closing for winter days and stuff they're starting them late now because everything even if they have to close for the winter they could still have school online yeah yeah Nowadays, so it's not no, you don't need a snow day get online you know you don't need a snow day anymore yep yeah. everybody gets online bummer for all those growing up in today's day and age i know right <laughs> Of course, I live in Florida, so I didn't have a snow day. Didn't even have hurricane days. So now that's a thing, apparently. I'm like, really? Suck it up, kids, and tough it up and hold on tight. (laughs) It's just a little wind. (laughs) Hell yeah. (laughs) One time I was working over here, and um, it had, it wasn't snow. It was a blizzard, okay? Literally, the snow was like three feet over our heads. That's how much snow fell that year. Um, and I have pictures to prove it. So, <laughs> um, and it was also ice. So towards the oh. end, it started icing. Oh. So it, it threw all that snow, and then it started icing. My tires were literally frozen to the ground. Oh, jeez. Yeah, and then and then my uncle was like, oh, "Are you coming into work?" Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you live. <laughs> In walking distance, like you just yeah. come down and walk. Like I have to drive, and my wheels are stuck on the ground. So no, <laughs> nope. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. My God, that took us all day to clean that. that I bet year. it did. All day. All day. I bet it and did. then where are you gonna put all that snow? I don't. Where are you know. gonna put it? I don't know. I don't know. Next time I'll bring the picture. Hopefully I can find it and I'll show it yeah, to you. Yeah, I have no idea what you all do with it. <laughs> yeah. I know oh. in downtown they have to actually have trucks that that they suck up the snow and they put it inside the truck and then they go dispose of it somewhere else. So well, it's essentially water, right? Well, it is water, but they have to dispose of it in certain areas because we have the uh, river over here mm-hmm. and that river tends to flood every now and gotcha. then. So, okay. yeah. Yeah. So but they can't yeah. put it in the river. Okay, gotcha. No, they can't. They can't put it just wherever they want. <laughs> they put it in designated area. <laughs> understood, understood. Yeah. So Yeah. Well, that was it. What do you got for us this week? Uh I asked the question, ladies, when do we stop loving someone? And Pascal had a great answer. <laughs> I did. I sure did. And I've had enough of their shit. That's when I stopped <laughs> loving someone. 
when you've when listen for me in my case and i will just say it for me because i've already been through that stuff okay so for me is when you're giving your all to someone and you're doing I want to say everything for that person. That person is not awake and doesn't look at you in the same way or doesn't realize or understand that you're doing these things for them. Like they're not awake to realize that you're doing it. Um, You just after a while, you just get tired and then you just fall out of out of love. Like I don't maybe I like you, but I don't love you. And maybe I don't even like you. I don't know. Depends on what they did. But for me, for me, like, I'm a very patient person, okay? But when I feel like I am unappreciated and I'm not looked at in the same way that I feel for you, that's it, I'm done. Like, don't, I'm not, I'm not going to even going to be your, I'm not married, so I could be done with you and I'm not even going to be your friend. Don't even ask me to be your friend because I'm not doing it. (laughs) That's just me. That's no, me, my no. personality. I'm, I just can't do There's it. There's a reason there are certain people are in your past. Yeah, exactly. So that's me. Yep. I had enough of somebody's shit. I'm done. Peace out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> She's gesturing too, by the way. <laughs> yes, I am. I sure am. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I feel, you know? So whatever. Then you move on. And I'm not going to say that it doesn't hurt. Of course it hurts. We're well, emotional beings, especially we're women. We're emotional beings and you invested time. Exactly. And Too you much maybe thought ahead. <laughs> sorry. Sorry for my rudeness. I have a very well, bad body mouth. It's honesty. And yeah. when you invest too much time and you think or expect at some point you're going to, you know, whether you thought you're going to be together forever, whatever you thought. Yeah. It's always disheartening when it's not. (laughs) It is very much so like, like, you know, for somebody to sit there and, and after you've been with someone and you ask them, where do you see our relationship going? You know, and when somebody looks at me and says, oh, well, I think we're good friends. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. What the fuck did you just say? So do what, you did you, what did you just friends? say? I'm sorry. <laughs> what did you just say? I said, oh, we're friends. We spent a lot of time together. Like we made food together. We ate together. We slept together. We woke yeah. up together. Yeah. Just as though we were married. You don't remember any of that shit? <laughs> you don't remember none of that? Right. That's okay. You can forget it. Yeah. You can forget me and my name too. Bye. Right. <laughs> That's what that's what made me, I think, have that realization when somebody talks to you in the most stupid ass way that you have ever heard something come out of somebody's mouth. Like when you're telling me after 10 years, you have absolutely no feeling for me. None whatsoever. We're just really good friends. Or are we basically just fuck buddies? What are we? You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's very, that's, that, um, I think that made me feel like there was a dagger just straight through my heart. Well, yeah. So for me, it's not only just appreciation for what you do around the house and stuff. You fanning yourself? You hot? (laughs) Oh my God. I think I'm having a, a, what do you call that? A hot flash. flash. (laughs) You know, you want appreciation, not just for the fact that you do the laundry or mop the floors. You want to be heard. Yes. You want to be treated like your thoughts, your feelings, whatever you're vocalizing matters. Yep. You know, that you participate in some way in the big decisions. And well, yeah, you want to do it as a team or made yeah. to feel like what you say or think or how you process things is wrong. Uh, it gets old easily. Um, well, not easily, quickly, quickly. Um, yes. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, it, it's just wanting that confirmation that whatever that you did, that y- validation 
of yeah the validation that you know yes i see you, you matter I see what you you've thought, done your feelings yes. matter you, right you, and that's it's, that's smart to think that you know something yeah, and it's not materialistic shit. I could give two no, shits not. about materialistic no. stuff. It's just, you know, acknowledge me. Tell me, yes, I do care about you. You know, I, yes, uh, we are a team. Yeah. You know, yes, we're going to work together. Yes, your thoughts matter to me. When I'm talking to you and you're steady looking at your phone, and then I have to stop and say, oh, well, you're not paying attention to me. And then as soon as I say that, all of a sudden now you're paying attention to me. Now you, they hear you. Right. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. Get you out know, of here with I, that. You know, and, I'm then, not, I, and then it's also to having respect for the relationship in the sense that, you know, if you're with someone that's toxic or has toxic traits. Correct. Their personality or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I mean, how long are you going to battle that? Well, and the, and that's the thing. That's why I said, you know, like, I'm a pretty patient person. I don't know about all the other women in the world, but I tend to take, I think, a lot more than um, the average woman. Um, well, I, I think there's a lot that do. I know my mom did. Mm-hmm. She took a lot for longer than she should have. I know other people that have. And it's it's easy to stay. It's a comfort zone. It is. Well, well, let me tell you something. So how how do you like it when somebody is like standing in front of you, they're hugging you, okay? They're kissing you, whether it's on your cheek or your lips or your head, whatever. And then they tell you, you're such a really nice person, you know. Maybe I'll find you someone. I'm sorry, what? Are you a fucking idiot or what? I'm thinking to myself, you, I, when, when he told me that I was speechless. Well, what do you say? What do I say? Then if it's not going to turn into this big, huge argument, which exactly is what's going to happen. Yeah. Because I feel as though you're being just selfish. You're sitting here, you're hugging me. You're telling me what a good person I am. You should be with someone that cares about you and this and that. Do you want me to tell you to boost your ego that, no, I just want to be with you? No, I'm not going to tell you that. No. Especially after you just told me I'm going to find you someone. You don't want to be with them. So how did that? So right there, your heart like just is like, oh, my God, this person is an ass. I got to be gone. I deserve a lot more. Yeah. I, yeah. you know, you have to realize that sometime I've been through three relationships that were long term relationships. So one of them was um, actually, I want to say two, two actual, because the other one was in Florida, but we were kids at the time. So that doesn't really count. But um, the other one was um, we were in a relationship, I think, for like seven years. And I was waiting for him. He wanted to marry me and everything. And I wanted to marry him. But I was waiting for him because he didn't have his papers. And I wanted to do it the right way. I didn't want to do it the wrong way. I don't want to just marry you to do that because that's not me. So in the process of waiting, you know, that's why I waited that long with this person. In the process of waiting and everything, um, he finally got his papers and said, peace out. Basically. (sighs) Basically, he said he talked to his mom and his mom told him, oh, because we're not from the same religion. How am I going to do? uh, How am I going? How are we going to live together? Okay, peacefully, number one, how are we going to live together without any problems, arguments, fights? And how am I going to continue like his religion? His mind you, his religion. What about me? Well, first of all, three in a relationship is a crowd. Yeah, no kidding. And I guess he didn't love you like that, or he would have been like, no, mom, we will work it out. Because you've been together long yeah. enough that he didn't. you knew how things were. Right. And he didn't. You're absolutely right. And sometimes I sit here and, and I, you know, I could cry from now to, to eternity and fill up a whole ocean full of tears. But does it really matter? Like, to me, no, because I could just kick myself and be like, well, why did you even 
stay that long. You're so stupid, you know. But then I said, you know what? You're not stupid. No, you're not stupid. He's stupid. You didn't lose anything. He's the one that's going to lose. Yeah. Not you. So yeah. I'm good with it. Yeah. So that's why right now I am focusing on myself. I have no one. I don't plan on having anyone anytime soon. And nor do I plan as much as I like to, you know, uh, <laughs> and I'm not going to say it on there. As much as I like to have fun, <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not even going to do that because to me, it's not, it's not worth it. No. So that's my story. And she's sticking to it. <laughs> sticking to it. Yeah. So I asked the question and someone wrote, I think the strength of love changes over time, but I don't think it completely goes away. Oh, yes, I don't know. You know, I think when the strength starts to dwindle, <laughs> that's the beginning of it going away. <laughs> You know, I mean, I think they kind of go hand in hand. They do. And and I can understand, like, even if you get separated, I think, uh, from that person or what have you, or you, you're not in love with that person anymore. But, you know, you still care about that person. You still care about their well-being, you know, and, and probably that's what this person, when they were saying about love, you know, um, it dwindles, but, you know. But I mean, there's people I care about, but I I don't love them. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then I don't know if she was read it again one more time. I think the strength of the love changes over time, but I don't think it completely goes away. Oh, yeah. No, it goes away. It does. It goes away. It does, because eventually, even if you're not with that person, you care about them, but you really don't love them or are not in love with them. So, yeah, the strength does change. I agree with that. But eventually it does go away. Sorry, whoever you are. It Well, it does. It, it does. You know, um, so then a guy replied, even though I say ladies. He put, yeah, I know. I almost want to be like, so you're a lady? Anyway, so when Maybe. they give you a reason not to. When they give you a reason not to. Yeah. So they've done something that. Mm-hmm. Right. That's not healthy for the relationship in any means or, or way. Yeah. I mean, he just, it, it's to the point, but not, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's. Well, I can understand if people cheated, you know, you tend to, there's people still that will, you know, go to counseling and do all that stuff. And for cheating, I know for myself, if you're, if you cheated, that's it, you're done. I can't take you back because I can't trust you anymore. So then the, the love for you is no longer the same or is not there at all. Yeah. So I get it. Yeah, I get it. Someone wrote, once you love someone, you probably always will. No. No. <laughs> no. no. Not I, necessarily. No. I thought Sorry. I loved the first one, but that went away. So <laughs> <laughs> that's gone. Yeah. I think, I don't want to say that that's kind of a, I don't want to say naive response, but it's like, I'd like but to it know is, your, though. It, it kind of is. Yeah. yeah what your your history is um it doesn't seem not like they have much experience roses you know and um when someone keeps taking advantage of you or they don't change the things that need to be changed especially when they say they're going to mm-hmm. you you're altering how that person sees you and feels for you and that's altering the love that's, that's and that right. can make you can make it go completely away that's right. You absolutely yep. can. You can, yeah. We're not in high school anymore. No. I will always love you. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and you write it on your paper. Yeah, and on your and, and you put a little heart in your yeah, initials. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Erase, erase, erase. <laughs> right. Scratch out, black out. Black out. <laughs> 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 then someone wrote all sounds reasonable guess it's it, it varies on everyone's situation so that's true that's true yeah that's a very yeah, accurate no. comment that would be more of an accurate comment um 
Uh, and then someone wrote, if you truly love someone, it never goes away. Well, that's, it can pretty much go away. You know? Yeah. Like yeah. I don't wish someone to die or evil on someone, no, no, but no. that of course not. the feelings can change, um, especially if they've abused your feelings for them. And have Correct. taken advantage of your feelings for them. Uh, sometimes there's too many scars. Yes. Yeah. You know, and then, and my biggest thing is people think if they do something and then they say, I'm sorry. Right. That, that it forgives everything. It, it forgives it, everything. Yeah. Well, saying sorry doesn't mean you should have said it or done it to begin with. Correct. And do you really you mean know? it? Like I've you heard know. sorry. I've heard sorry. Do you know how And then they times? repeat too the many. pattern. Yes, they do. You know, so it's not sincere. No, it's selfish. Mm -hmm. Very selfish. Someone wrote, I don't think we ever stop loving someone. I think your heart will always have space for them, but the pain they caused our mind to shut that space off and never access access it again. The pain eventually outweighs the love. Okay, well, but then there's the love that disappears. I don't think the love is there ever. That's it. Like, it's gone. It's sweet to say there's a space for them and all that. Um, but sometimes you outgrow the person or too much toxic has happened. And you outgrow that as well. And you want better for yourself. And there is no space because you have to grow and change. Nothing stays the same forever. No, correct. You got to no. make space for, in your heart for bigger and better things so you have to eliminate that person out you know and not that you do it on purpose love them it's forever well no no nothing no (laughs) the only thing that's forever is when you die and you have your coffin and you're laying in it that's it that's forever (laughs) the end yeah sorry peeps but that's it the end i'm sorry i'm a little bitter so (laughs) Over here, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, it's it's uh, wake up, know, we people. all wake up, people. <laughs> well, it's and it's not even sounding bitter or cynical no. or nasty or whatever, it's just you grow and change, and other you people do. grow and change. We are not the same we were in high school. There are certain things you outgrow and there are certain things you don't, (laughs) you know, and, you know, well, if you're young and you marry and then you grow up kind of basically together, you know, that it's going to change. I mean, and some people have it lucky where they kind of grow together and everything kind of just meshes well and they're happy, hunky dory, whatever. And then there's other people that it doesn't happen for. And that's understandable, you know, and. And, um, but let me, let me ask, like, come on, like we're 50 years old. Okay. Correct. Like, and the other person is almost there, let's say, okay. Giving, given my scenario, the other person is almost the same age as me. Okay. When do you grow up? Right. (laughs) Like when, when does that happen? Right. When do you figure out exactly what you want in your life and stop playing the field and stop looking for something that is not realistic in your life? When does that happen? Where you can focus on somebody who is good in your life and is there for you and has your back, you know? It's just not that, but you have to feel that something special for them. You have to love them. Um, You know, again, if they, if they abuse it, it alters and change. And if you can sit there and talk about someone in a negative way that you say you love forever, or you, you know, you have all these things to say about them. Is that love? I mean, I don't want to be with someone who behind my back will criticize me. Yes. And then say, love me to my face. I don't know. I think it's. No, that's a liar. That's fake. <laughs> that's fake shit. I'm just, I mean, like, for me, it's fake. Don't come at me and say that, you know, you love me and you care about me and you're doing something. But then you're being hypocritical when I'm not there next to you and you're doing other things. 
Yeah. So if that standard is one way when you have a girlfriend and she's talking about you behind your back to everyone else, right? why does that not apply to the significant other in your life that you're exactly. intimate with or that you're spending your life with? Exactly. No, you can't have that double, double standard. It has to be across the board. Yep. Is I anyone agree. perfect? No. No, I'm not. Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not I, asking I don't for go a lot. I'm going, I think he's this, that, and this, and the other thing. Right. I, I typically just don't. Um, there's no really need pushed for a it. button at that moment. And I'm like, oh. and there's no need for it. <laughs> but and to I be honest, yeah, you talk I about don't. those things with your friends, your close, yeah. close friends. And yeah. the reason why you do that is because you're not talking bad about that person. You're just getting your feelings out with those close friends. That's it. But you're not going around the whole neighborhood and say, knock, knock. Guess what? <laughs> guess what happened? So-and-so is a fucking asshole. He needs a jerk off. <laughs> you know, you're not saying those kinds of things. You oh, know? my gosh. But that's why you have those special friends that you can talk to because they understand or maybe they're, they've are they gone through the same thing. You can care about someone. Sure. You know, you can have a love for them. And it can change over time because mm-hmm. of life and situations and circumstances and things that happen. They don't even have to be overly verbally abusive or toxic for mm-hmm. uh, there to be consequences to certain things and your feelings to change. Um, but if I am saying nasty things about someone all the time, there's a problem. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And you can live in denial all you want. And you can change your tune. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Until the next episode or phase or whatever happens, you know, I don't know what you call it. Yeah. You know, I mean. Well, yeah, there is a problem with someone when they're doing that. Obviously, they don't care about you. They don't care, number one. They don't love you at all, number two, because you're not going to go around uh, putting their name in the dirt, you know. You're you're not basically going to say anything at all. You're just going to say, okay, well, you know, we weren't a fit. We weren't, we were together. We lost our love along the way and move on. That's it. Yeah. But there's no reason to put anybody's name in the dirt or they treated you this or they treated you that, you know. I mean, if you're telling your girlfriend a true story and he smacked you around a little bit or whatever happened, that's fine to share that. But it's, it's another thing to air it to everybody else. Um, If they're abusing you, that's definitely fine to share and probably could tell everyone. But I had a a good friend uh, get divorced and she was hurt by the fact that everyone was like, oh, poor her ex-husband. Oh, he's devastated. But he caused it. Right. Well, they didn't know. And she took the high road. Yeah. And she didn't say what he had done because they had a a toddler child at the time Mm -hmm. and didn't want her to ever hear that. Of course. From someone else. And that's good. Yeah. That's good that she did that. Now it was implied. He said some things and you know, Oh, woe was me. And here we are. Oh, he's such a great guy. Is he though? (laughs) He's a great guy, what, for the hour that you sit and talk to him or for the um, three hours that you invite I, him I will tell you, for a he's party? a nice guy. He's a nice guy. He doesn't do relationships well at all mm-hmm. for many reasons. He's he's not an evil guy. He just has some inner demons and like many, I'm sure, but he has yeah. some inner demons <clears throat> and he doesn't do relationships well. There's a lot of and people like that. In the end, he knows he has hurt himself more than anyone else. Yeah. But he truly is a nice guy. Yeah. And there are, you like know. you said, and it's a like shame. That. Yeah. Because you're like, yeah, he's a nice guy, but don't get involved with him. <laughs> right. Yeah, he's don't, not a good, good boyfriend. It. Yeah. No. Or a not. relationship person. No, he's not. There's people like that. I mean, I, I you know, I think. It's more often than not lately. And that's just from my perspective as dating. Mm-hmm. So, um, and you know, people, I have friends 
Sorry, mm. go on. No, no, go ahead. It's okay. No, no, go on. Go on. People, I just think they're just getting together just to have fun. People don't want love anymore. This is what I found. Um, so a lot of some people still do. You know, I'm not taking the fact that a lot of people don't don't want that, of course. Yeah. yeah. And um, but lately, like I said, from my perspective, I have just seen too many of them that just don't want that. They just want to play around and do whatever they want, and mm -hmm. they're fine with that. Mm -hmm. Love to them means nothing. And I understand that, you know, maybe it stems from pro possibly them getting hurt at some point in time. But, I mean, I was hurt, too. But at some time, you got to, you know, let down your guard. You got you to gotta take brick by brick. You know, and in, in my case, I thought this guy, I... I had him, when I first met him, I had him basically on the sidelines, okay? And I said, okay, well, I'm going to watch out for my heart because I don't want anybody to come in and I don't want this and I don't want that. But then his actions, the way he showed me himself, made me slowly take down my wall brick by brick. And then as I'm taking down my wall brick by brick, it's like, oh, he's like, he really cares for me you know what I mean but after that then it's like things happen and I don't know what gets in his head the demons in his head I have no idea but then that's where where he starts acting different than what he is doing his actions are different than his mouth and his brain mm -hmm. his brain is thinking something to tell me from his mouth but his actions are way different are way different yeah 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 hmm. yeah so and he's a nice guy he's a nice yeah. guy otherwise but he's just not good at relationships he's yeah. really not he's really and, not and some aren't when they try to turn things on you and and make everything your fault or you're doing or your problem and they can do no wrong and they're condescending and stuff that affects that affects you that you know that doesn't just leave the brain you know no. I have friends that have been together a long time they've never ever talked about divorce never thought it they work at their relationship they've never insulted one another yeah, it's work. You got to work it's, at it. You know, they, because they respect. But you got to you. Well, they respect each other. And that's a huge thing. It is. You know, I don't care what your demons are. You shouldn't be with anyone. If you can't see. Well, respect, that, respect falls all the way across the board. It, it so. does. So you can't get it if you don't give it. Correct. And if you can't trust someone you know, you're always going to be wondering what are they doing when they leave the space where they can see you. Exactly. That's no way to live either. It's a lot no. of stress and anxiety. Very much so. That will eventually and I used to do that. leave a I used scar. To do that. Yeah. Yeah. I used to be one of those people. Yeah. And be like, oh, what is he doing now? What is he doing yeah. now? What is Where's this? Where is he going? Like, it drives me crazy. Yeah. And then I talk to myself and I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, why are you doing that to yourself? He doesn't give yeah. a shit where he's, wherever he's going, he's not thinking about you. No. 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 Not at all. I can make so. it. <laughs> <laughs> like not in a good way. She's fanning herself. <laughs> yeah, she's not in a good way. It. Yeah. Well, it's a subject. It's definitely a subject. It's nice and sweet to think, oh, you will always love him. No, you don't. No, I don't. You may always, you know, value that time you had with them and the love you had at that time, but it does change. If you can it live does. without them and you decide you're going to live without them because you need your mental health over everything else, well, the love changes. It's, it's, in 10 years, you're not going to be like, oh, I still love. No. No. Hell yeah. No. Mm -mm. And I think sometimes people say that because it just sounds good, to be quite honest. But Well, it's good to hear. It's right. good to hear, but reality is, no, it's not going to change anything. No. 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 Then you give them a chance and you say, okay, yeah. I'll just let that one go. Okay, I'll just let that one go. And then you, before you know it, you let everything go. Yeah. So you even let yourself yeah. go. 
True, because you're not demanding the respect you deserve. And there has no. to be respect and there has to be trust. Or why right. bother sacrificing? Right. What are you fighting you. for? What are you fighting for? Yeah. What are you fighting for then? Yeah. It's like you just go through your relationship and you look and you're like, okay, well, what are you fighting for? You look yeah. around and like, he's not here fighting for you. So No. Okay. It's easy for some of them to just keep throwing in that towel, tell you one thing and then, you know, yeah. show you something different days later. So, yeah. Or they act right for a couple of weeks or what have you. And the next thing you know, they go reverting right back to where they started from. Yeah. And how long are you going to play that game? Right. It changes your love. It does. <laughs> it does. It does because you don't love that person either the same or none at all. Correct. Uh, someone put when you no longer care about them. Well, yes, that is very true. Yes, it's very true. You can never stop loving them, but you have to begin to love yourself above all else. Well, you do have to love yourself. You do have to like yourself and respect yourself to demand better than what Correct. you're being given. Or you're always going to be stuck dealing with everyone else's crap and fixing it. Yeah. And then you're going to end up being in the same cycle, even if you end that cycle and you move You'll on find to the it next somewhere one. else. Correct. Yep. That's what happened to me. I ended yeah. up finding the same stupid ass cycle. Yep. When they are nothing. When they're nothing. Nothing as to what? I'm going to assume to that person when they mean nothing to that person anymore that there's been oh, so much okay. that's gone on and happened that you're just like you know what that makes sense yeah you know yeah. in that sense and for lack of better ways of explaining it yeah that makes I'm, sense you know I think that at some point you're like it doesn't matter what I say or do it's never mm -hmm. good enough it's never right so on I go. Uh, well, for context, I loved and cared so deeply for him. I thought I was going to have babies with him and marry him. But he constantly put priorities and his addictions above me, mm -hmm. even if he claimed not to. Well, don't they all, especially if they have addictions, they put yeah. it above everyone else because they're selfish and they don't want to put in the work. They do. To be something different or yeah. to be better. That's when I realized I had to let my love go. I couldn't be unhappy. Therefore, loving someone is to let them go. Then once you've let them go, you can stop loving them. Nah, well, sometimes it is like that. But other times I think it's like you kind of stop loving them before, too. Correct. To come to that point. Yeah. To you hang on and you go. hang on and eventually you just look at them and you think, what am I doing and why am I here? Exactly. You know, take my dogs and live on an island somewhere and not worry about it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Time. You know. So you know, once I, you leave something like that, you tend to look at yourself in a better way. And then you tend to want to want to have better for yourself in any situation or any other situation that you could possibly meet in the future. You know, and then that peace, that peace where you're not constantly thinking what is that person doing what is that well, person where is where are they you know you get a sense of just closure and and you feel a little relaxed that you don't have to worry about anybody else it is nice when you let go of everything that's held you in one spot that wasn't good for you mm-hmm it is, like you said, that peace, that inner peace. When you sit back and look at a relationship and said, oh, I've been with this guy 25 years. And for the last 25 years, when I look back, it actually started way back here. Yeah. But as you grow and you change and you mature and you start to see things and realize things, you realize you've been dealing with that for a lot longer. Right. That whatever that is, you know, and you start to analyze what made you realize what you've been dealing with? Well, because you grew and you changed. Correct. Yeah. And you decided you wanted better for yourself. Correct. You know, yeah. I, uh, I, I know, again, it's easy to stay. Especially it's nowadays. It's always easy A lot of, to stay. Well, people don't like change. 
No. There's also financial security. Yes. You know, especially nowadays with the cost of everything. It is, you my know. gosh. But at some point, you're only here once. So how long are you going to put up with the crap? How long are you going to put up with the redos of them trying to make it better because they didn't get it right the first 10 times? Right. You I'll can't do better put it or I'll do better. You know, you... You can't make someone change. They no, have to look can't. at themselves and realize where their faults lies or what they're doing wrong or how they're treating you and that they have to do better. Right. And they have to change it. They have to hit that rock bottom. They sure do. Yeah. And if they don't realize that, they're just going to continue on the same path. You know, but there's you no can't, point. You, you can can't lead a change horse anybody. to water, but you can't yeah. make them drink. You true. Know? That mean, is really true. <laughs> Right. You know, that is so, very true. Yeah. So it's you can they can talk about it all they want. <laughs> yeah, they can. But, you but know, their actions easy to be louder like, than words. It is. And I, I know some women are just like, well, I'm just going to let him do his thing and we'll see. Well, that's denial, not coping, not living in the real world. That's, you know, you're letting him get away with it, I think. I th- I think there's some of that too because mm-hmm. they're afraid of change. They're afraid yeah. of facing the reality of everything. Yeah. Well, you know. what are you gonna do? I don't know. We we as women have self doubt. I know I have a lot of self doubt. I oh, hear a yes. lot of, in my brain. I'm always like, yeah, I I battle myself daily on certain topics, you know, and I know better. Yeah, I, I know. Me too. Know better. I know. And when I share with a girlfriend, I'm looking for support, not lecture. Not advice, because trust me, I already know I'm already there, which is why I'm talking to begin with. Exactly. <laughs> you know, it's just and purely that's why for we support. talk to each other. That's why we it's talk for the to support. Each other. Yeah. Yes. If we, we didn't need to vent that... and get it off and have someone else hear it, but we need the support. Yeah, that's it. Even if it's just a listening ear, just somebody yes. to listen to and. You know, that's it. May you don't have to say nothing at all. Just let yeah. your friend vent. It's not a competition. It's not no. a competition. It is not. I don't, don't need you to tell me this or that. I know a lot of things. I've had a lot of life experiences that have led me to where I am today with my thoughts and feelings, whether everyone likes them or not. Exactly. It is what it yeah. is. Yeah. You know, um, not everyone's experiences are obviously the same. So everyone's thoughts and feelings and the way they handle things are going to be different. But um, at it some is, point, but if you're, you know, if you're in a relationship that's not making you happy, you obviously need to figure out your situation for yourself, whatever that may be. Mm-hmm. And, you know, make sure you do something for you. Yes. You know, yourself, I, your I inner a, peace. I have a, a girlfriend I actually had dinner with tonight and uh, I see her a few times a year. And, and mm-hmm. now she kind of wants to reach out more and and see you know, us get back together. She was uh, an old neighbor of mine at my my first house I owned in Largo. Mm-hmm. And um, we're nine years apart in age. She's nine years older, but she's a good person. And she's going through some stuff. Her husband is a big time alcoholic. He has been the whole time I have known them. So since 1995. That and is a long time. Mhm. And she is now finally reaching the point. I remember her telling me at one point, I just don't want to be alone. But now that the kids are grown and her daughter is the last one in the house, her youngest, which is Brooke's age and is working hard and trying to to save money and, you know, would like to get a roommate or something, get out of the house and rightfully so. But again, it's so expensive and she had to buy right. herself a car because her other one finally died. And, mm-hmm. you know, she's, you yeah, know, but she's working. And um, she's just like, I don't want to be alone in this house with him. I just mm. don't want to do it. And uh, so she's working on it. Uh, she okay. actually did a consult and has talked to some of her siblings about it. She was telling me tonight and uh, she's she's working on it. And I'm so proud of her because she went from yes. I don't want to be alone to I don't want to be in this house with him alone. There you go. See, that's a and big difference. So she didn't tell him that I was picking her up to go to dinner and of course he comes home and the minute he walks in the door he's always insulting and just nasty he is to a degree I mean he's just always got something nasty to say and so 
she's like, no, Char's picking me up. We're going to dinner and blah, blah, blah. So we get to the restaurant and she shows me what he texted her, which was just the birdie Uh emoji. And she's like, why does he even care? He's in bed most nights between 5 and 8 p.m. And he doesn't love her. He loves his alcohol. Oh, no. So he why does he freaking care? Correct. Like, she doesn't yeah. give him a debit card. Like, she went and bought chicken wings and stuff and left them for everyone in the house. Yeah. She said, here's your dinner. She's like, I don't leave him the debit card. I, uh, You know, he gets $20 a week cash, like, allowance. Um, he's done some underhanded things that have gotten him fired because sure. he's trying to get cash to feed his habit because the wife supervises that. So Well, she has to. Otherwise, she they wouldn't have to. had a life. Yeah. So, you know, I'm super proud of her because she's older than me. Yeah. Her kids are older than my kids, except for the youngest one. Mm -hmm. And her youngest one, there's a big age gap. You know, the others are in their 30s. And, uh, you know, she went from being scared to I don't want to be stuck with him. Yeah. That's good. That's a big leap. That's a big leap. That is a big leap. She's not going to do anything right now. She's going to start after the holidays. They have a family inheritance to work out. Mm-hmm. Her dad passed away. The new wife is trying to keep the condo and everything. And that's not what the will stated. And then it's kind of a shit fest because dad had money. I see. So they've been dealing with this since he died almost a year ago. Yeah. So she's dealing with all that, unfortunately. So, um, Trying to Anyways. Get, get past that. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to get with theirs. So mm-hmm. um, her and her brother. So, you know, she's like, I can only handle one thing that stresses me out greatly <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> at a no time, kidding. you know, and then she wants to come up with a plan because she wants to stay in her house. So, right. Um, yeah. So she's working on it, but I'm Look, proud well, of her. I told her, I said, I'm. I am proud of you. I mean, she did the consult and everything on her own. She would like to consult another attorney because she was talking to her one sister-in-law and her sister-in-law said, no, no. And something mm-hmm. about the inheritance and blah, blah, blah. And, 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 you know, my friend lives in Florida and this happened and blah, blah, blah. And, and maybe that attorney didn't really understand, but you need to consult mm-hmm. another one. So I gave her the name of another one tonight to consult. So, mm-hmm. you know, well, good. Um, yeah. That's a big leap for her to take. I mean, and it she is, deserves it. She She's is. taken on so much throughout these years, so she deserves to get, you know, her life back in order for herself. Yeah, she's just like, you know, I don't want to deal with his shit anymore. I don't want right. to deal with his nastiness. I don't want to deal with his alcoholism. I don't it want to deal with it you. anymore. It's, it's draining. draining. Yes. It's draining. It and he's so not going to stop at this stage of the game. He has no, no desire to. He doesn't even think he's an alcoholic, but his eyes are continuously bloodshot. And he drinks 24 hours a day, seven days a week, much like my dad. And so, a $20 allowance? Well, that's why he does jobs on the side and pockets cash or tells um, clients to pay cash for certain for things. And then, sure. yeah, he's, he's gotten himself gotcha. in trouble with jobs and gotcha. pocketing. So, you know, she's had well, to deal with that through the years and stuff. So, you know, I'm proud of her because... Well, she's got a lot going to, on uh, and she's yeah. scared to leave so. that sense of security, you know. Yeah. Definitely, um, yeah. But she's know. she's good. She's making a big step. She's taking a huge step. So Yeah. I she's don't know her, a... but I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's she's taking a big step and she went again, she's like, I just don't want to be alone, Char to I just don't want to be alone in the house with him. I said, I'm proud of you because you told me, because I remember telling you that. I said, yeah. "Yeah." So, you know. Well, and that's another thing, too, where a lot of people just don't want to be alone, you know, when they get older. And that's fine Mm -hmm. and dandy, but that doesn't mean that you have to take all the disrespect and everything that they're shelling out. You know what I mean? Well, you don't need to suffer. No, you don't. You get one time on this planet. Why should someone else dictate your happiness all the time? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Especially if someone that you, you know, just don't love anymore. That's it. Yeah. It's done. You know. Yeah. And she she doesn't. I mean. Yeah. They have three kids together and stuff. Well, yeah. And and they're grown. She doesn't want to see lightning strike him, but she's like, you know, he can go. Yeah. (laughs) Well, enough is enough. Enough is enough. If you're coming home like that all the time. And sending me stupid emojis like that, that's 
That's yeah, so that's, childish. Yeah. And she's like, well, that's new. He's never sent me that before. I'm like, well, he's, yeah. he's, uh, I, my response would have been, well, if you don't like the fact that I'm going out and taking charge of my life, I'm happy to help you pack. Yeah, no, I would have sent him back the same emoji. I was done. <laughs> Okay. And what's that going to come out of? Can I help you? Know. you? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So I was. But that's good was, that she's not doing that. She's not taking the, the, you know, low road when it comes to him. She's taking the high road and she's doing things for herself yeah. and getting herself together. So kudos. You know, she is. And, um, it's it's a process. It's not easy because she's been married a long time. Yeah. And it's hard to it's it's hard. It is very hard. It's very you difficult. Know, it it yeah. is hard. So it's not an easy I, step to take, but if you know that you're not in love with someone or someone isn't treating you the right way, I mean you gotta figure it out for yourself from what you want out of life. You know, do you want do you want to live yourself like do you live? want to always sacrifice to make everyone else happy when they there don't you care, go. respect your feelings? There you go. That's they tell it. you, you know, you're wrong or tell you whatever they're telling you. Correct. Do you do you really want to spend your life justifying yeah. why you stay? Mm hmm. Correct. You know, exactly. if that makes you sleep at night, that's fine. And I'm not trying to be belittling or condescending, no. but, you know, at some point you got to stop. You can't keep complaining. And do no, nothing. you can't. No, because you can be complaining like that for years and years. You know. And you can wake up one day and you're this old lady who's, you know, just sitting there and you don't even have you lost yourself along the way. You don't even yeah. remember who you are. Yeah. So, you know? you know, at some point you got to, you know, regain your mental health and well-being and enjoy the peace that yep. comes along with that. That's right. Do it before it's too late. Goals. <laughs> goals. Exactly. <laughs> yes. We all should have them, we which have we all goals. do. Yeah, mm -hmm. we do. So, yeah. yeah. But yeah. that was it, my dear. That, that was, was a great topic. I love that topic. It kind of hit home with me on that one. No. So, not at all. All the words no. I just said. No. I all wasn't the fanning watching you I on did. camera and all the fanning, all the fanning you were doing. <laughs> I was like, that's some angry fanning she's got going on. <laughs> it was angry, wasn't it? I should let that go. I should let that go. I really should. I should move along and... Let it well, you go. moved along really well. It's some yeah. it's still pretty fresh because it wasn't all that long ago. No, it wasn't. So um, I don't think that you necessarily talk about it as much as you had to deal with it. I don't. So it's, it's very it's hard. It's venting and yeah. your find event on here or just with me privately that works too. Yeah. I'm always here, but yeah, no, it's it's uh, part of doing this podcast was to vent and to share thoughts and feelings Absolutely. and things that frustrated us and. And whatnot, and how many people were in the same boat? Yeah, yeah. There's, There's a lot of people in the same boat. I'm sure. I'm sure. 100%. Yeah. You know, yeah. So. so, yeah, that that did. Yeah, hit home with me. So, anywho, yeah, we appreciate everybody for listening. Thank you very <laughs> much. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear a bunch of uh, curse words from me today, but, you know, I'm very, I get very emotional when it comes to things like that. So, um, but we appreciate each and every one of you. And if you guys want, would like to hear a topic that you guys would like us to talk about, please leave them in the comments and Char will get back to you. Uh, we also have an email and she will go ahead and explain all that to you. But we appreciate you guys. We're almost coming on our 50th episode. True, true. Yes. Time flies. Time we are flies. approaching the one year anniversary of it is. deciding to chat everyone's ear yes. off. <laughs> yes. Yes. Holy uh, crap, actually, we did fifty almost fifty episodes within that one year. We how yeah, awesome is that? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. We we yes. had a few little misses here and there, but it's it's okay. Uh, one of these days I'll figure out the music. I still don't like any of it, so here no, we are. No, it's okay. Um, our first episode was August 6, twenty three. Oh my gosh, that's four days away. 
four days away. Yes, we should have a celebration on our next um on our next podcast. We should. Yeah, we just should. for the for the anniversary at least. Yeah. That means just her and I will be drinking. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You guys can join in while you're listening to us. We have no problem with that. Yeah. I have I have the hound in here with me tonight. Oh, he's okay. been snoring. He's so cute. Yeah. Uh, right now he's, he's fluffing been a good the pile. Boy. Yeah, he's fluffing the pile of towels I was going to throw in the wash after this cuz he's like, yeah. oh, there's some towels here that are comfy." Thanks, mom. Those are for me. How did you know? <laughs> Mur, are you my good boy? Yeah, you my good boy. Yeah, so that we had a dog fight the other night, yes. last week. Um, a lot of stress in the house, and uh, he I decided, know. while okay. sitting on the love seat, to attack the 80-pound dog, which is over by the sliding door. So there's a dining room table between, there's quite a bit of space, and he decided, for whatever reason, he looked at him and thought, this is the moment <laughs> wow. that I'm going for him. Um, actually, that was the second attack. The one was a few nights prior mm-hmm. in the same living area because I ended up with him between my legs trying to hold him, and I was trying to get a chair to separate them, and my daughter was coming with a chair to separate them. Yeah. Couldn't find the water bottle. Anyways, I had a black and blue swollen toe and a mm-hmm. black and mm-hmm. blue spot on top of my foot. I yeah. Had two dog bites and a bruise. Ouch. And the one really hurts over here, the butt one by the queen. It's not angry. Yeah. It's just, I think it was kind of just where it landed on the bone and oh, stuff. So okay. um, it's clean and it's healing, but it's mm-hmm. very sensitive to the touch still. So yeah. um, this one, this lovely hound right here that's <laughs> acting cute and sweet right now on my yeah. pile of towels that are getting ready to go in the wash. Oh. Uh, is going to go see the vet and have an attitude adjustment. Ah, yeah. oh, we know, we all know what that means. Mm-hmm. The boys are Goodbye, coming off. Boys. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Because mama's done. Yeah. I, I thought I broke my toe. I couldn't bend it that first night. And the next day I could bend it. So I thought, okay, we're yeah. fine. I don't, I don't need to tape it or anything. I didn't want to grow right. heel crooked or anything weird, yeah. you know. So. Well, how old but is the, he? He is uh, three-ish. Three. Okay. Yeah. And I don't typically get them neutered. Uh, the big one is he's 80 pounds. He's eight years old. He's not neutered, but he's not an instigator either. So right. the instigator, the yes. 50 pounder, down the here, towel guy, up, the towel guy <laughs> who fluffed him and got him just right. Yeah. Um, he's going to be devastating a few, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. It needs an attitude adjustment. And I've yeah. said it before, but now we just have so much going on that it just, I'm, it I've been bruised and bitten yeah. and not because he was trying to bite me, but because I was trying to stop him from, I mean, they each have, have a spot on their head, Axel under his eye, him mm-hmm. on the top of his head. I've been putting Neosporin on those. It was a bit much. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so. Well, it's time, I guess. He needs it. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Yeah, so we're going to go have an attitude adjustment. Yeah, see you're going to be all there. right. You're going to be all right. <laughs> a few Don't days worry. of wearing the collar and you'll be a good comb? to go. <laughs> yes, he'll be fine. No worries for him. Cone he'll of be... shame. Cone of shame, exactly. In the meantime, mom still has black and blue marks and yeah. <laughs> sensitive spots. Though. Ouch. No. Yeah. yeah, jerk. <laughs> Yes. Tell him every day it's a good thing I love you. That's right. Yeah. You know, that's good right. thing I love you. So. Yeah. Anyways, you can find us on Spotify, Amazon, Samsung Podcast, Podcast Index, Listen Notes, Apple, Google, Pandora, TuneIn, iHeart, Deezer. You can email us at girlfriendminute23 at gmail.com. We are. Instagramming, Facebooking, TikToking, YouTubing, and on Patreon. Yes. We are everywhere. (laughs) All right. We are. We are everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody can ever say they can't hear us because we're everywhere. Damn it. (laughs) She's a little riled up. (laughs) I am a little riled up. 
She's feeling a little feisty. She has a new Just hair a color. Little it's all. I do. Oh my gosh. Yes. It's that blonde kicking in. Yeah. It's kicking in. I'm already. not a blonde. God forbid she becomes a redhead. Everyone. Watch out. Oh, oh no. my God. You just gave me an idea, but I got to let this hair relax a little bit. Um, Cause look at I, it. Like I, I, I frizzy. did not give you an idea. No, you did. No. Yes. <laughs> no. Fire rocket red. Oh no. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> did I ever tell you my highlight story, which is why I don't ever do what you did? No. My old hairdresser, Amy, who was not the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> <laughs> no, legit. She tried to iron her shirt while wearing it and put a burn mark of the iron on her arm. Oh, you and stopped I, that right no, now. No, I, I. You stopped that right now. Why? Wow, she was rolling up her sleeve, and it was a pretty light blue long sleeve blouse and you, you, know, you can roll it up and you can pin it, you know? And, yeah. and I'm like, God, that pattern on your arm looks familiar. What is that? I'm oh, it's sorry, nothing. I don't mean to laugh. It's nothing. I'm like, no, no. I, yeah, and I recognize the pattern, you know, it's the point, the top part of the iron and the circles. And I'm like, Amy, what is that? Well, I had wrinkles in my sleeve and I, I, I just ironed it while stuff. wearing it. I said, well, <gasps> what? Oh my Yeah, goodness. and I burned myself. I'm like, were you holding it on? <laughs> By the way, no offense Can to the blondes, but she is blonde. She yeah, is. my brain is intact. <laughs> yeah. I, but I mean, and Ellen, you met Ellen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ellen was like, I told you she's not the sharpest tool in the shed <laughs> after she left the boutique. Oh my God, why would you do that though? Seriously. Because Come on, it's man. not all functioning or we did too many drugs when we were druggy or still Probably. doing too many drugs because oh, okay. Probably, she would yeah. say things and, and talk do about things. people and yeah. yeah and stuff um mm -hmm. you know and another thing she's like she was feeling lousy I'm like you need to go to the doctor and you have labs and you have your thyroid test and well she had a thyroid issue and they put her on meds mm -hmm. and she started to feel better she's one of those so she stopped taking them and she's like oh, oh I no feel lousy you again I yeah. said did you stop taking your thyroid medication because is your same way you felt Four or five months ago, six months ago. Yeah, because I felt better. I'm like, that's for life. The doctor didn't tell me that. Yeah, yeah he did. He told you that. You just. <laughs> you just chose not to listen. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you start taking it again and see how you're doing yeah. in a few weeks? Yeah. Anyways, yeah. not the sharpest tool in the shed and not to be mean, yeah. but if you are wearing a shirt and you decide there's a wrinkle in the sleeve, do not iron it. This no, is a public service don't. announcement. <laughs> please don't iron it while wearing it. So much so that you burn the impression of the front part of the iron, the pointy part, on your probably skin. Probably a quarter of the way down on the sides. Wow. And I saw the circles. There were circles. Like they were scattered. No, she held over. it on there. Yeah, she held no, it. No, she on held there. it on there. And at some point, did she not think, gee, this is hot? Right? No <laughs> this shit. doesn't feel good. Gee, I might be burning my skin. Exactly. I, I just, I don't, you know, I just stood there because the things I wanted to say were, were condescending and I know it comes across as condescending, but good God, I never had to be told don't iron while wearing the shirt. <laughs> See, and that's where the common sense comes in. So <laughs> I just, I don't know. And she's also uh, older than us. <laughs> what? Shut up. Stop. Now, she's like, now I'm done. I'm done now. No, she's like six or seven years older than us. What? No, I'm I'm not. I know I got nothing to make up. Wow. So and it's got to oh, be the drugs then. You know, back to don't eat Tide Pods. Don't iron your shirts while wearing them. While wearing and them. And hold the iron on. Don't do that. No. Don't. It's gonna take hurt. your it's shirt off. Put another one on. <laughs> and take an ironing board and do and it the right way. And then you need Neosporin and whatever else. <laughs> <laughs> It's yes. just not a good idea from the get-go. No, it's not. Definitely not. You know, so. And that's why you don't highlight your hair? Oh, no. I'm sorry. I got off topic. So, I have brown, dark brown hair. Yeah. Always have. But my, my ends fade to blonde when I'm in the sun, especially in the water mm -hmm. a lot. Okay. She was nagging me. I, you know, she's a hairdresser. And I, I just went to these really thin little, where it's only like so many strands, little, you know, blonde very, very highlights, thin. very, yeah. very thin, like four or five strands in a section, something, you know, something like that. I'm like, okay, well, what harm can that do? Right. So I let her do it. I'm like, oh, it's not bad. Okay, cool. Fine. I go on vacation. 
And I'm gone like 10 days and I'm up in Washington and Niagara Falls mm-hmm. and Manhattan and Pennsylvania because I had yeah. to. And then I'm down in North Carolina. And every time, you know, after spending the day outside, I'm looking in that hotel mirror and it's not great lighting, you know. And I'm like, sure. Does this look orange? Oh, no. And then, you know, everyone's like, well, I don't know. And then Brooke, she's going to tell me the truth. Oh, my God, your hair's turning orange. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yep. She didn't process it enough. She did not do it right. <laughs> no. And, you know, but I thought, is it the lighting? And Brooke's like, it's not the lighting. No, your hair is orange, Mom. <laughs> you're, you're getting these orange streaks. So I come back yeah. and I'm like, I go next door to the hair salon and I'm like, see this? She's like, oh my God. I'm like, yeah, oh my God. So guess what you're doing today? <laughs> yes. You're, you're putting the brown, brown back in. You're gonna exactly. put the brown back in. You're gonna put the brown back in. We're not gonna be orange. We're not gonna be green. We're not gonna be any no. kind of weird dust colors. <laughs> yeah, if you so don't I'm, do it right, that's what happens. It turns that's, orange. Yeah. Well, so you I'm have good. that Italian in you. The I Italian do. in you. Anybody who is like of Mediterranean descent, your mm-hmm. hair tends to grab the orange before mm-hmm. it grabs anything else. And if else. it's not done Processed properly, right, you're orange. You're gonna look like a clown. Yeah. <laughs> You know, look like and Bozo the Clown. I'm so grateful that it was just thin little, just, you know. Oh, thank like, God for that. Oh, yeah. thank God. Because thank God for you that. You can see some of the oranges here that's being in the sun. Yeah. And that's, but that's natural. That wasn't these strings that were intentionally placed. So yeah. I think that that was prior to the ironing incident. If I oh, had yeah. seen the ironing incident before, I'd probably been like, you know what? I'm good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, thank you. <laughs> That's why I don't let anybody really touch my hair. I don't like it because they tend to turn me orange before they turn me what I, the color that I would like to get. But yeah. uh, my uh, nephew's girlfriend, um, she took the challenge, and here we are. And it's actually really blonde, believe it or not. Um, it right looks now, really blonde here. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm pointing on the screen like I'm touching your hair. Yeah, but it's, I know. <laughs> it's the lower part here. It looks around your face like here. It looks really blonde right in the center. But here it looks a little darker. But well, it's shadowing. Shade. Too. Yeah, right. There's the and shadows from the light. And you got these yeah. on. So I'm right. I was trying here to determine. Is all shadow. So. Yeah. But uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually give myself a break and then I'm going to throw some um, really uh, like light honey brown highlights in there so that I kind of bring it right back where it's not so bright because it's just blends into my skin color and I'm going to be the skin color for the next winter. So (laughs) it's not going to change and I'm not going to get a tan and it's not going to change. If you move to Florida and you get rid of your restaurant, I will fix that for you. All right. I keep trying. I know. I know. I, I know. That's all I got. I know. That's all you got. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. You know, like tonight would have been it. perfect. Oh, I Got know. Out, had dinner. Walked on yes. the beach. Yes. Yes. Gossiped amongst ourselves. Absolutely. <laughs> Talked about everything and anything under the moon. That's what we do. So, yes. Yeah. So, I love it. I do too. We'll get there. We'll get there. I do love our dates though well, every Friday. So I, I do too. I, I am here. I'm just waiting patiently for the car to pull up in the driveway and yet And there's no car. I know. I gotta put tint on my car to come down there. So damn hot and sunny. I can help you with No, that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have enough tent, don't worry. <laughs> I have I have people for that. I've, one I've day, one day, I've you will be you. surprised. When I pick up the phone and I'm talking to you and I'll be like, open your door. I'll be like, what? Okay, I'm holding you to that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I will not tell you that's going to be Don't make me come up there. <laughs> it's going to be a surprise. Don't make me come up there. I won't. I'm coming down there. Okay. Yeah. And then we, 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 we do need to start looking and planning our birthday trip. Oh, yes, we do. We do. I'm down. I'm yes. down so that I could uh, save the money that I need to along yes. the way so, we, so that we can we get We need going. to decide what destinations we want so we know what we need to stash. So. Okay. Sounds good to me. So, okay, Sounds my dear. Good. All right. Okay. Always a pleasure talking to you. Always. Likewise. Next time. Drinks in our hand, celebration, one year. Woo-hoo. Doesn't do it on here. It doesn't do no, it, it on doesn't here. do it on here. <laughs>
No, it doesn't. It it's does the little not. things. So when we talk on Messenger, I'm going to start doing this all the time at you. Oh, you hit the button. I did hit the button. <laughs> I had to. You know me. Yeah. Cheated. I did. I cheated. I'm sorry. Mine doesn't do that, okay? I'm a little jealous of that. <laughs> That is pretty funny. It First is. time I did it, yeah. I was like, huh? I know. Well, I was looking at you and I'm like, do that again. <laughs> I see. So if nobody knows this by now, but your iPhone, if you put a thumbs up on it and it's only the iPhones right now, but if you put a thumbs up, it actually will put the thumbs up. It gives her with the little thumbs bubbles. up. So it does it on messenger. Um, when we're FaceTiming, on well, face, we can't yes. FaceTime. So it's, well, it's FaceTiming on messenger cause she doesn't Correct. have an Apple. So we can't FaceTime on the regular phone. So Correct. when you're on messenger, if you give a thumbs up, which I did ironically, was that last week or the week before? I yeah. was like, yeah, Yay. And we're like, Oh, look at the little animated thumbs up that popped I up. Know. <laughs> See the small so, things. Then I kept doing it and I tried other gestures and only works on that one. Maybe so we're late. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to Google later. Whatever. I don't remember to do that. So yeah. anyways, yeah. it's been fun, my dear. Yeah, As always, here. a pleasure. Thank you for same the laughs. Much. Absolutely. Anytime. That's what I'm here for. <laughs>, <laughs>, laughs and giggle. Shits and giggle. Shits and giggle. Shits you have a giggle. wonderful rest of your night. We are you signing too. off at 12.09. All right. Early this time. Yes. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, and you have a wonderful rest of your day. You too. Bye. Bye.